that, what would you think? It's like, hmm. God sends locusts. Yes. Calamities? But if you read the whole psalm, it, it says God uses the locusts and grasshoppers to help force Pharaoh to let Israelites go free. So that's just, you know, if you read the whole thing, you'll know why that that line is like that. So otherwise you might make wrong conclusions. Okay, any other questions before I go? Again, I don't want to go too fast. Um, songs were used for songs for worship, and professional singers may have sung this in the temple. Uh, David wrote almost half of it, Moses wrote one, Solomon wrote two, and then there's people like Sons of Asaph, Sons of Korah wrote seven. So it's like you can see, oh, so those are inspired too, you know, they're not just, they're not the apostles, they're not Paul, but these are inspired uh, writers. And Jesus and the disciples knew the Psalms pretty good. Uh, because Paul tells the early Christians to encourage one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. So it's an important part of the early church, like how important it is for us now. So, I guess the big key is to know when to use the psalms correctly. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I'm not saying don't read them all, you, you should read them all. But uh, a way to use them Another way to use them is to know when to use them. And for example, you have misfortune. You want to complain to God. You can go with laments. <laughs> if you feel pretty good, you want to praise God, you can read some thanksgiving. You want to sing about it, you can read the hymns of praise. Uh, salvation history, if you want to you know, want to sing about how Christ saved you and, and what the background is in that. Uh, there's celebration, affirmation. Uh, there's just songs of wisdom. Uh, in a way, it's sort of like a proverb or two. And then there's songs of trust. And now the problem is, I mean, these categories, they're not set in stone. Other people have made different categories. So, so it varies. But I notice Everyone says, yep, laments. That's what we call them. <laughs> Are these your uh, No, it's from another source that I got. Uh, how to read the Bible for all it's worth. Like, so that's how it works. That. But there's other people who break it. Uh, but again, laments are the most out of the Bible. And what does that tell you about God? About the Bible? We all complain, you know, God is okay with that. If you just say that to God and not to... That's not the way people want to see God is when they have stuff to complain about. So maybe right. that's why there are so many. Right. Laments <laughs> as opposed to Thanksgiving or praise. Right. Maybe that's when we see things. Yeah, there's many things that happen in our lives that we want to complain about. And who is the best person to do that with? It's, it's God. That's that line. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody had to go through that. Once the time. Eventually. Eventually. We will all, all of that. feel these things. Yeah. Yeah. And if we read the psalm, we go, oh, that's nice. And that helps us. Just like the way songs help us. You know, other songs that we do, songs that you guys play, it helps us uh, express what's inside. That, uh, we just couldn't express on ourselves, it, it, it helps. So what better way than have the Bible do that for us, serve that for us. Um, so as I said, uh, lament is the largest group of Psalms, uh, 60. There's individual laments, it's like individual people complaining to God, and then there's corporate, it's like a whole gathering <laughs> complaining to God. <laughs> So individuals help people express struggles, suffering, and disappointments. And corporate, you can see those are examples. It's a group of people doing that. So it's about being honest to God, being able to express what's in your heart, what you feel. Uh, 
Uh, so Psalm 3 as an example, O Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Many are saying of my soul, there is no salvation for me uh, in God. So that's sort of, the first part is greeting God. The second part is about God. You know, how many are my foes? There's so many. Uh, they're all over. So it's like a complaint of some sort. Um, and then he shifts gear. He goes, but you, O Lord, are a shield about me. My glory and the lifter of my head. So there's sort of an expression of, but wait a second. You know, um, even though I'm, I'm complaining all this, I, I want to recognize you as, as God, uh, which is who's my shield. Uh, so I cried out aloud to God, and He answered me from His holy hill. I lay down and slept. I woke again, for the Lord uh, sustained me. So He's saying things that uh, God has done for Him. Wow, God answers. Uh, God sustains me. And then, so as a conclusion, he goes, number six, I will not be afraid of many thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. It's like from that, we we feel that God has done things for us in the past and sustains me. So now there's an expression of confidence uh, from the person. Uh, and then, Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you strike all my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Um, you know, that's not very Christian, but that's, <laughs> that's how the psalmist is feeling, you know, break their teeth. You know? yeah. So, salvation belongs to the Lord, your blessing be on your people. Um, so you can see the somewhat of a, a format just for this one. You know, you address God, you complain to God, you you say what's true about God, you figure out what God has done for you, and then and then you become confident in God, and then you tell God, yes, you know, arise. It's, uh, it's definitely emotional. Yeah, <laughs> in that sense. Yeah, and some see a lot of, like, praying to God to destroy their enemies. Right. Like, but, um, I feel like God said, like, love your enemy. Right. But at that, that time, I'm not sure that you can use Why do people like keep like praying to destroy their enemies? No. <laughs> That's no. not the question, yeah. Um, sure. It could be many things, but um, but a general answer I could say is that's their emotion at the time. And they can be honest with God about it. And especially in that era, you know, they literally have enemies. Yeah, it was, it was, like a lot more, yeah. you know, like the more than the Wild West, you know. Yeah. Like they're fighting, uh, literally. And that's before Jesus. Right. Now, now, what are our enemies? You know, it's not someone coming in at your door, and, uh, unless you live in some parts of the world. <laughs> 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 in a bad area, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but but here, you know, our enemies are what? What is that? Material. Ourselves. 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 <laughs> 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 so, Ourselves. so you're going to complain about yourself. Right? <laughs> so, so it's a different application, right? In that sense. Well, maybe for this one, because in verse 2, it says, many are saying of my soul. So they're saying things. And then when it says, strike all your enemies on the cheek, and maybe so they can't say stuff to come out. Uh, true. You know what I mean? But it's not as much as like, okay, well, destroy them. Because it does say break the teeth. Right. It so doesn't you, have, you don't have all that stuff. You, you can't have it. <laughs> you can't be able to talk. Well. Or it could be another way of saying, you know, silence them. Yeah. Silence. Yeah. 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 That's what yeah. I meant. Yeah. If you think metaphorically. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Like poems. So why yeah. did the person use the word teeth instead of like tongue? The tongue would be what they decided to use. Maybe. <laughs> or you know teeth, uh, you know because if you show your teeth, maybe it just means you know the enemies are smiling. If you break the teeth, teeth you're not, you're stopping them from. Right. They can't coughing at you. They can't eat anymore. 
scholarship that have figured out what does breaking the teeth mean and I don't have it in my head but there's somewhere there's someone has written about that so <laughs> I, I had a grandma back then and she was old and they lose all her teeth and uh, she couldn't eat yeah everything got to be smashed and soft yeah. and just so you can't eat anything at all right so, she, yeah. so, so that is a valid it yeah. could be a valid yeah. option you know that could be the case because yeah. if your enemies can't eat then yeah. enemies Die. Die. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> instead of killing them directly, right? Just indirectly. <laughs> In the way they're suffering. Yeah, yeah. suffering. Yeah. So, so you know, so it's very unchristian, you know, because it's like, oh, I, I want to make my enemies suffer yeah. or starve. But you know, that's how the person's feeling, you know, and, and God allows that, uh, especially if it's an expression, expression of God. Now let's go to something else. Thanks for <laughs> I give you thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. I bow down towards your holy.